So we're going to talk about one of the most common exercises we use for our core, the plank. We're going to look at a couple of correctives that we need to work on um, to make the plank really strong and obviously, obviously do it right. Okay, so Colin here, we want to first of all get Colin to think about controlling the muscles. Okay, so some people think this is just your core, but your core goes from your knees right up to your shoulders. So Colin, I want you to go up off your knees. Okay, so this is what most people will do. They'll just get into this position sit and they'll feel a little shake here and go, oh, I'm working my car. They are, but not to the, to the extent that they need to. Okay, so from here, I want Colin to bring his feet together. I want him squeezing his glutes. I want him squeezing his quads. I want him to relax the shoulders a little bit, keep the hips up a little bit higher. And I want him to bring his belly button up to his chest by squeezing his stomach as much as possible. Now, this is much better contraction Doing this for five seconds is much better than doing it loose for 30 seconds. So how you know that Colin's contracting is that if I push him, slowly but surely he's starting to tense up. That means he's contracting all the muscles he should. Your core is there for stabilization, and when I push him, he's starting to stabilize. So we're gonna talk about the press of the day. This has been an exercise that Certainly, there's loads of different variations. It's a very good exercise kinetically, walking your toes, your fingers. Um, so if Karen just went down into a press up on the floor. Okay, so this is walking the whole body. Fingertips to the toes, it's walking the whole kinetic chain. All right, so when women do press ups, we're talking about women specifically here because we believe that women need more stability in the joints and more strength. Okay, so if Karen does 10 press ups now, off you go Karen. As many as you can, excellent. Now, as Karen is doing her press-ups, I just want you to focus on where it starts to get a little bit fatigued when she's going. Keep going as many as you can. Actually, go more than 10 because you're flying. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, when Karen was doing the press-ups there, she's really good press-ups. What was starting to fatigue, what a lot of women think starts fatigue, and men certainly, is the upper body. In this case, and in most cases, it's the core that, that gets a little bit weaker. So when Karen was getting to her, let's say, 9th, 10th rep, the stomach was starting to kind of less contract and the back was starting to, to sob down a little bit. So if you go into a press-up with your knees on the floor, okay, so this is a really good adaptation, okay, with, with um, dropping the knees onto the floor. It makes it easier, obviously. But what it does is it takes out the core element. So we're saying that Karen's, when, when she fatigued, the core started to get loose and we, that's when she dropped onto the ground. And many people will think, well, let's get Karen to go onto the ground now and do press-ups on her knees. But in fact, that completely takes out the core element to the press-ups. So if Karen does press-ups on her, on, her, on her knees, off you go. She could do them all day, all day, because she's able to do full press-ups. So if you are good at doing press-ups. If you're really bad at doing press-ups, I would recommend doing them on your knees. If you are really good at doing full press-ups, I would say stay up there, and then when you fatigue and your technique gets poor, then just drop, so find your limit. If you have somebody that you want to use an adaptation, but it's kind of caught in between that, I would always recommend using the box. So if Karen just went onto the box here, so hands each side of the box. Yeah. So we're still contracting the core, we're still walking the body kinetically from the fingers to the toes, and we're making the exercise easier because it's elevated. So if Karen does the press-ups from here, it's much more easier, but we're also contracting the body. So you can stop there. So if we think about it, ultimately, when we do a press-up against the wall, it's easy. As we go down the wall, it gets harder. We want to keep the exercise intense. We want to keep the contraction of the whole body working together. And sometimes we will say to our, our clients, our customers, drop on your knees. When in fact we can make it more, uh, we can give more activation around the body through doing it on the box or on a seat.